Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and whatever else you identify as. Welcome to my weekly press conference. I'm looking forward to having you here about as much as I am looking forward to getting compound hemorrhoids and riding a dirt bike down a railroad track with a 60-watt light bulb up my ass. But it is what it is, and I'm sure we can get through this if we just stick to business. As you all know, we are in a bye week, so we get some important time off to prepare for the Green Bay Fudge Package, which who we will be playing in our next game. Now, this is all I can say about Green Bay. Fuck them. Fuck them where they see, smell, hear, swallow, and poop. Print that! Here's the deal, whether you peckerheads want to believe it or not. Right now, we are four and eight. And right now, Seattle is six and five. The Vikings are six and six. The Rams, Packers, and Saints are five and six. There's two fucking wild card spots open right now if we assume Dallas has one of them locked down at eight and three. People of the press, haters, and stupid fans, there's five games left to play. We are two games out of two wild card spots with five games to play, you nitwits. One of them is against Green Bay, so we can knock them out. And we play New Orleans and the Rams. Don't you see what's happening? Fuck this shit. We need to run the table and we're in. Okay, we do have an injury report, but we expect most of these guys to heal by the time we play Green Bay. But as of right now, these poor bastards have the following injuries. Newman has an infected goo shooter, and it burns when he makes pancake batter. Kennedy is suffering from a rotten love tunnel, which is just visually disturbing. And I saw it. Ooh. Martin has a case of canary nuts, which the doctors have uh, spray-painted red so we can see them more easily. I mean, they look like uh, Mar Maricino cherries now, and, and Glowinski actually tried to eat them, so we have them in a crate until he learns to behave. Hopper fractured his meat Twinkie, and it's in a cast now, and it looks like a hot dog in a mummy bun. Rogers has an inflamed caboose from participating in a Kentucky Klondike bar without properly warming up the O-rings and going right into a Panamanian petting zoo. Mm. Stanton suffered temporary blindness from an Alabama hot pocket explosion, which apparently was the most fucked up mess anyone has ever seen before. And I've seen that too. Wow. And SQ has a backdoor mango drip, get this, which we are treating with rum and lime in an effort to make something positive out of this. And that's that. Let me just speak to the fans now, if I may. You do not tank for the draft, and New England did not miss the field goal for the draft. And no one is losing games and they are two games out at the professional level for the chance to draft a player who has proven shit because they're in college and look how many draft picks turn into shit. Print that, motherfuckers. Here's something interesting. Last Sunday, Cleveland beat Denver by a score of 29-12 to 12 as... Insane as this sounds, that's the first time in NFL history ended that score. That's a fact. Now, here's the deal. In all seriousness, I've seen everything in my lifetime. I've seen winning streaks and losing streaks and underdogs and overbites and 
intercollegiate competition and intercontinental ballistic missiles, and I refuse to say this Giants team does not have a pulse because we do have a pulse. We can run the fucking table, and wouldn't that say, suck my moose? To so many fans who have given up. We are two games out of two game wild card spot with five games left to play. Oh, and by the way, a moose has a pretty big package, so you don't take that lightly. Gabish? People of the press. We live in a world that has quarterbacks, and those quarterbacks have to be guarded by men who can block. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have greater coaching responsibility than you could possibly fathom. You weep for Jones and Tyrod, and you curse Kafka. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That all those sacks and punts, while tragic, probably saved knee injuries. And my existence, while grotesque, and incomprehensible to you saves time on the clock. You don't want the tooth because if you're not dentist, you can't handle the tooth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes another broadcast day. I need to go. I have a team to prepare over the next two weeks. This, there is food in the other room. I touched my nuts to everything in there, so enjoy. Go Big Blue! This season is just beginning!